Hello, welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video. So this is a short video and uh, got the idea from uh, one of my friends to introduce you to the idea of the equation editor. So for example, if you, for example, are writing an IA, so an internal assessment in mathematics, or an extended essay in the IB program, or any mathematical essay, the equation editor is your friend. And it's more intuitive than you probably think. So we're going to write it up. So mine is in German, but Einfügen means insert. And then we go to Formel, which is equation. And this is where we can then see the equation editor. So I'm just going to open it up here. And again, you, you can actually create fractions, for example, by pressing this button here. And this will then allow you to write, for example, 4 over 5. OK, but it can be a little bit cumbersome. It can be um, quite time consuming having to press all these buttons and find the correct buttons. So what I want to show you is just a few little tricks that I think will help you get quicker at using the equation editor. So just to go through this again, we go to insert, so Einfügen on mine, Formel, which is equation. We click on that and then we get it open. So the first thing is if you've got any normal function, for example, so say, for example, you want to work with sine or cosine, then you'll notice as I start typing sine, it's in italics, but as soon as I finish sine and then open bracket, you'll see it then goes to normal font. So the equation editor is very, very good at recognizing main functions that you use. So sine, for example, so if you want to write sine 30, then there we are, sine 30 being a half. Likewise, you can use this for many other functions. So say you want to look at the hyperbolic cosine, for example. Okay, that for the high level maths, I think it's beyond high level maths. But if you're looking to use hyperbolics, you can write cosh, yeah, which is the hyperbolic cosine, for example. So that's one thing that's very, very useful. Okay, in terms of writing fractions, what you can do is you can write four divided by five. So you can write it in the sort of old way so to speak and what will happen is it will transform it instantly to a fraction so i want to write four fifths plus a third there we are and then you can just put equals and the answer to that so if we've got five fifteenths we've got 12 fifteenths we get 17 over 15 so i can also write the answer like so yeah, making sure there's no space in between so it will convert it straight away so fractions work very nicely as well. So that's a nice function. Okay, and probably one of the most important functions. Again, let's open up the equation editor. We go to Einfügen, we go to Formel, insert equation, like so. We can also write, for example, powers. So if I want to write five squared, we go five, we press the chevron key, which is usually on the top left hand side of most keyboards, uh, British and German for certain, and then you press the space bar and it will convert it to squared, which is very, very useful. Okay, and then you can rechange the index if you so wish. So we can also mix that up as well. So if we go to equation editor, say I want to do a subscript, so say I want to talk about un, for example, in nth terms then I can simply type U. I can use the underscore, so that's shift, and next to the shift key on the right-hand side, and then press N, again, spacebar, and it will do that for you. So I can now write an nth term, for example. Okay, also very, very useful. And we can mix those two things together too. So for example, if we open it up, it's worth going through this just to show you exactly where it is, you can mix those two things up I said together. So say we want a and then we want a power, so a squared. But I also want a subscript as well. Uh, say you've got three, for example, you press the space bar and it will work those things out for you. And of course, yeah, if it gets too small like this, again, we can just go to the normal increase in the font. So you can actually see that a bit more clearly. So you can do a subscript and a superscript at the same time, which is really, really useful. Okay, so I thought I'd just show you a few tricks. Again, if you ever want to go back into it, you go to equation up here, or formel, and then you can work with this. Okay, again, you've always got the operations up here, so say 
you want something very specific, you can obviously use these up here. But I thought I'd just show you a quick few little tricks to speed up if you're writing out a mathematical essay or anything else. Those are a few little tricks that I've picked up uh, over the course of many years. So hopefully you found that useful, short video, but hopefully that will save you time in the long run. Okay, bye-bye for now.